Good day, YouTubers and everybody else. What we got here uh, is a solar camp uh, lamp or the lantern, and its uh, price is very low since it's Chinese. Uh, I'd say somewhere about uh, six dollars. And this is the, the schematics of the same. And let's open this up and see what's inside. Uh, need some boxing. And what we uh, see uh, is um, it's a solar cell, 5 volts, uh, 30 milliamps. And what we have also is a stand, uh, like the legs for this uh, lamp. We have some cable for the charging with the USB in the one side. And uh, let's mount this. Uh, these legs or the forks to the to the lamp. This is the USB output, but it's not suitable for charging the the cell phones. It's only f auxiliary output for some fans, motors, and some devices, uh, which is four volt instead of five. So it's usable, but not for charging. Okay. So um, this is the charging port uh, with USB, and it can be charged from the uh, classical standard uh, charger, wall charger, or with the uh, power bank. It doesn't matter. And we have uh, you saw this uh, indicator lamp, uh, red diode. And also, let's uh, imitate the, the solar power with this uh, flashlight from the phone. You see this uh, red diode is glowing, uh, which indicates the charging. So it's this indicator also works with uh, charging with the charger or uh, with the solar charging. So it's indicating charging. So it means it, it is everything is okay. Okay. Uh, also, we have this camping uh, light, uh, which is also interesting, and it's it's very bright. It has full brightness. And uh, let's see uh, on what batteries it's operated. It's from three uh, AAA batteries. It could be alkaline, rechargeable, or it doesn't matter. It's, it's, uh, I think it cost uh, only $3. Okay, it's also glowing, this red LED, and this indicating light. So it means it, it is charging with artificial light, with artificial photons. Okay, and uh, uh, let's mount this, uh, these legs or this uh, stand or whatever you want to call this okay it's it's pointing downwards but uh, okay it can it can be fixed no problem you see this uh, this center light it is a, a circuit on board the chips uh, chips on board uh, sorry and we have this outside uh, other uh, lamp which is a uh, regular uh, smd uh, diodes okay and uh, this is it what you saw. Okay, we could also talk about these uh, schematics. So let's see how it so how it looks like. Now let's just uh, open up this uh, device. I was struggling in the beginning to open this, but it's really simple. Uh, let's see how it uh, looks like inside. Uh, let's light this uh, up. Uh, this is uh, chips on board uh, in the middle at the center and around the center is uh, S SMD diodes. Uh, okay, we, s we see uh, here uh, rechargeable nickel metal hydride uh, batteries which are probably 600 to 700 uh, milliamps, uh, very low. And we also uh, see electrolytic capacitor uh, resistor uh, nothing special, really. It cannot be simpler than this, as you can see. It should go into this. Uh, I don't know. Okay, uh, we need to be very careful. Uh, oh, it just set up uh, like it's supposed to. Let's just uh, put it this back like it was before uh, this needs to be uh, adjusted so let's uh, screw this uh, on and this is it now what we can do with about this uh, to test this uh, we can uh, we could see this uh, usb output uh, uh, what is the voltage uh, 
like we see in the picture, uh, they, they uh, advertise it is a USB output, but uh, I pref I beg to differ. Uh, so it cannot uh, be charged. Uh, oh, this is uh, for the hand force. I'm sorry, it's my mistake. So we need to to use this classic uh, USB cable for charging with micro USB. Let's see, it, it's not reacting at all, uh, like like it's not uh, charging at all, which is not surprising, because the voltage is very low. Uh, with these three uh, uh, nickel metal hydride batteries in series. So let's measure this uh, voltage uh, with this re uh, very reliable uh, universal meter, electric meter. We have these alligator clips. Let's hook this up and see what are the readings uh, from this device. Okay, just hang on a, a second, please. So, where's the voltage? Oh. So it's it was unhooked. Sorry, my bad. Okay. And as you can see, uh, the voltage is it is 4.09. It is almost 4.1 voltage. So it's not enough for charging the cell phones, but uh, maybe it can be. It is enough for some uh, devices like uh, like fans uh, or something like that. Uh, some motors and some uh, lamps, which could be hooked up to this output. So, and we are going to, to test uh, just that, okay. Uh, just bear with me for a moment. Okay, we have this uh, portable uh, mini fan, uh, which is USB operated, uh, 5 volts operated. But it should work fine uh, with this uh, 4 volt output, which it does, okay, as you can see. Maybe uh, the RPMs is uh, a bit lower than uh, with 5 volts, but... Uh, it, it can do uh, for uh, for emergency situations like that, uh, yes. It could also hook up this uh, USB lamp, so it's glowing, no problem. Can you hear this? Uh, this wind from the fan. Okay, sorry about that. Let's unhook this uh, and see what other test it could perform with this with this lamp. Okay. You saw just about everything you could see. Let's just see again uh, when, when the light source is uh, present uh, from the sun or uh, artificial light. We see this uh, red diode, this uh, indicator li light. Means it's, it's charging. We have this Chinese power bank which is uh, not very good quality but it uh, but it works, so, okay. So everything is Chinese, so maybe their goods is not so uh, as the best, but okay. It will do the purpose. This is the schematics, uh, uh, nothing much, okay. So uh, we have this diode in series. Uh, which uh, s drops down the voltage uh, for about 0.7 volts, which is just enough uh, for the batteries not to, not to be overcharged. Okay. Yeah, this is our camp lamp YX56081. So also, we have this uh, electrolyte, uh, but it is uh, redundant. There is no point of, uh, of putting this electrolytic capacitor. So you could uh, you could uh, uh, charge uh, both ways in at the same time with the uh, solar cell and with the external char charger. So it doesn't matter. And uh, in the charging will be faster, slightly faster. And let's see how it operates in the in the nature condition, outdoors. So this is how it looks like at night. This is the middle uh, diode, diodes, sorry. 
so not bad. Uh, so it is much better live uh, when you hear present than in than uh, captured in camera. So, uh, so it's not so bad from my perspective. So let's see, will it uh, hold down, hold up in this uh, stand? So it's not perfect. It needs needs some adjustment, some some tweaking here. And okay. Uh, let's fire this uh, switch. Okay. Yeah. So you see how it uh, how, uh, how it looks. And for that amount of money, it's not that bad. It's looking uh, quite fine. Uh, okay. So you saw how this uh, is working really nice. So it's not uh, a bad accessory to have in your, in your trunk in the car. And this is some do-it-yourself uh, recording equ equipment at night and uh, with some busted fan and from some stick and uh, from some cables and LED. So as you see it's not perfect. But it, it does the job, okay. So if you want to, to take a look at this uh, schematics, it's very simple, as simple as it gets. So you could trick this by buying some Chinese batteries uh, like uh, 2800 milliamps, uh, which would be much uh, higher and suitable for this. And you could uh, install here a step up booster uh, from uh, 4 to 5 volts or even uh, lower. For charging the phones, but uh, it's it's more investment, so uh, I don't think it's it could pay off. Uh, for this and so it's not 100% uh, optimal, but uh, it can it can go uh, like this uh, for that price. It's 